Hi Capricorn, this is your February 26th through March 3rd weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. The second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Spread number three is love from the past. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances real quick and then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on uh, new love this week. Uh, we have the seven of wands qualified by the ten of swords. Then we have uh, the ace of swords qualified by the six of wands. After that we have the six of swords. In the potential outcome we have the king and the queen of pentacles and the four of wands in the middle. And uh, we also have the will of fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, <laughs> I hope you're ready for this. I hope you're ready for this Capricorn. We start with the seven of wands qualified by the ten of swords. You know, this is not uh, a very happy beginning for some of you, but for others of you it could be a very happy beginning. So let's talk about those two cards real quick. The ten of swords is a card of an ending, an abrupt ending. Right? The seven of wands could be interpreted as a card of somebody who is on active defense. Somebody who stands their ground, somebody who protects someone or something. Somebody who says, you know what, don't even come close to me. Okay? So for some of you, if you're interest, if you have two people interested in you, if you have two suitors, right, then that will be the energy of one of them. And I assume that's either the energy of either the king or the queen of pentacles. It doesn't matter to me, we have both. You could be either the king or the queen of pentacles yourself, all right? But uh, this person, uh, if you have two people interested in you, they will fight off the competition. And it's going to be fierce. It's like this person is not taking prisoners. This person is very determined to win you over. Okay, for others of you, um, <clears throat> perhaps you have like rogue advisors. Somebody could be telling you, you know what, don't get involved with this person. And uh, then you may have to you know, shut that person down, to tell that person or those people who are rogue advisors to, you know, buzz off. You know what, I don't care what you think, I'm in love with this person and we're moving forward no matter what. For very, very few of you, maybe 1% of you, you could be stuck in some kind of a um, situation and this person is going to come in and they're going to be like a lifesaver for you. They're going to sort of rescue you away from those people, away from that situation. Um, and uh, this person is like a rescuer, right? Okay, whatever the case, right? The Ace of Swords clarified by the Six of Wands followed by the Six of Swords, yeah. I think you're moving forward with this person, either the King and the Queen of Pentacles. You know what, for the reading's sake, I assume you're the Queen of Pentacles <laughs> and the person you're dealing with is the King of Pentacles. But again, you can also in the roles as you wish. So yeah, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Six of Wands, a clear and decisive victory. Right? For the scenario where you have more than one person interested in you, the King of Pentacles will be a clear and decisive winner. Right, the Six of Wands is a card of victory, success, it's a card of attention, right, so you definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. The Ace of Swords, you know, is a very sharp object. That Ace, that sword in the Ace of Swords is a very sharp object. <laughs> so nobody messes with this King of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords is the word yes, by the way, okay, so it could be you saying yes to this King of Pentacles. It's a card of a new beginning. Uh, with the Ace of Swords, people are usually straightforward, people are usually very direct. Nobody is fooling or playing around with an Ace of Swords. The Six of Swords, the next card over, I think this is you guys moving forward together. Leaving someone behind or some kind of a situation behind if that's your scenario. We also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, start of a cycle. This, for some of you, the Wheel of Fortune is going to change things, especially if you're sitting in some kind of unfortunate situation. Remember that scenario where you could be like stuck in some kind of a situation or, or what ordeal? The Wheel of Fortune comes in and things change. Things turn around for you with this King of Pentacles. Or the Wheel of Fortune is simply you guys moving forward, starting a relationship. Okay, in the potential outcome, yeah, we have you, them, and the four of wands in the middle. The four of wands is often referred to as the 11-11 card. Uh, it's a card of a commitment, marriage. To me personally, the four of wands always reminds me of an actual wedding. Yeah, so, yeah, I really like it. This, this king of pentacles is very determined, very determined. Like, 
There is no obstacle that could stand in the way. All right? Really happy for you, Capricorn. Congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Capricorn, uh, the spread is for you. We have the star, the moon, uh, the nine of cups, and uh, the empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Libra, Taurus. Well, to be honest with you, I just didn't want to clarify anything because this is already really, really good. Okay, um, We are right in the middle of a Pisces birthday season. Uh, the moon is a major account kind of card for Pisces, so you could be celebrating Pisces birthday. You know, <laughs> it could be your significant other, it could be somebody who is a member of your family or a close friend, right? Uh, but at the same time, um, the moon is, is, the moon is uh, all about emotions, right? It's one of the most emotional cards in the deck. But it's not necessarily like negative or bad emotions, even though the moon could be a card of fear, right? But uh, the moon could be positive emotions, especially if like really good cards are surrounding the moon. And uh, the, the remaining three cards are really good cards, okay? The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but both the star and the nine of cups uh, are wish come true cards. Both of, them, both of them are. So if you're not dealing with a Pisces, or if it's not a Pisces birthday, Right? Then perhaps the moon could be like a very secretive card. And in this case, perhaps they want to do something super nice for you. It could be like a surprise for you. Something you always wanted. So it's like a wish granted for you. They're gonna do they're gonna do that for you. They're gonna give you that or buy it for you. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, it could be as simple as like um, a gift certificate to go to a spa, right? Because the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Uh, it could be all about, you know, taking care of yourself, you know, beauty. The, the Empress uh, is Venus, and Venus is both money and beauty, <laughs> right? Um, but for others of you, you know, the Empress is somebody who is loved, somebody who is cherished, somebody who is being put up on a pedestal, right? And uh, the Empress is also a wife figure, a spouse figure, or a mother figure. Okay, so no matter how you slice it or dice it, this is a very loving, very positive, even sensual spread. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Capricorn, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the Five of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Cups. Uh, then we have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Devil, and we have the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. You know, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. I was hoping to see some court cards when I clarified that Five of Swords, right? And But the Eight of Cups showed up. What I can tell you right away is that you're not taking this person back, whatever their zodiac sign is. You'd rather be single than to, be, to get back together with this person. Right, uh, right next to the deck we have uh, the Nine of Pentacles clarified by the Devil. The Devil is your major arcana card. The person in the Nine of Pentacles is a single person. That's one way to interpret the Nine of Pentacles, a single person. But at the same time, it's a card of somebody who is doing well. Doing well without this person, for sure. Okay, It's also a card of somebody who is in the center of attention, somebody who is glowing up. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be with you. Perhaps this, that's why this person is coming back, because they want to be cool by association. <laughs> because they see you glowing up, you, they see you doing fine, and uh, perhaps that's why you're coming back, you know. But you're not taking them back, 100%. The Five of Swords, the Four of Cups, nope. Uh, especially with the Four of Cups, it is a card of a rejection. And I think this is you rejecting this individual. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Capricorn, real quick. We have uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. We have Temperance, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or any zodiac sign. Well, it feels like somebody made a mistake, a big mistake, and they're coming back hoping they could uh, reverse that, hoping they could fix that. It's like perhaps they gave a job to somebody else, they chose somebody else over you and gave them a job, and that turned out to be a disaster, right? That per that person didn't work out for them. Uh, for others of you, another person could have been promoted instead of you, and now they're real realizing that was a mistake, or somebody went into business with the another person or gave a contract to another person or another company. So somebody is coming back, and they're going to be like, you know what? I made a mistake, or we made a mistake. Can we please 
uh, do this now, <laughs> right? Uh, you've got that job, you've got that contract, you've got that promotion, uh, what have you, okay? So it's like a reversal. They're trying to fix their own mistake. That's how it feels. And from what I see, uh, I think you're going to go for it. I think you are. If this is a job offer, if I were you, Capricorn, I would ask for a more money. <laughs> be professional about it. Don't be arrogant. I, yeah, you're crawling back. I knew you would. No, just be professional about it. Ask for more money or ask for maybe some kind of a compensation a little bit, like a bonus at the end of the year or, or some other perks. And I think they will give it to you as long, again, as you're professional about it. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week. We switch Capricorn. We have uh, the five of ones, the ace of swords, the seven of ones, and the king of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think we're back to where we started. This is this spread is very similar to the first spread, the new love spread. Um, so let me elaborate a little further, a little further. So I, th for some of you, this king of pentacles could stand up for you. Okay, say this is somebody whom you work with and you're in the conference room, you're in a meeting and uh, somebody is going to go at you, like somebody is going to attack you. This King of Pentacles will get on your side then they will help you stand your ground. For others of you, Capricorn, and I hope this will not play out, God forbid, Capricorn, you're walking down the street and somebody is trying to mug you. God forbid. This person is going to show up and they're going to fight that uh, person off. That's just for very, very few of you. Perhaps that's how you're meeting this person, right? Because we have the five of ones, the seven of ones. These are conflicting cards, <laughs> right? But for most of you, as I said during the first spread, if you have um, like two people interested in you or if you have like a rogue advisor telling you not to be together with this uh, King of Pentacles, that's what those uh, three cards are about. Fighting off competition or telling those rogue advisors off. Okay, and that's what you're not expecting, Capricorn. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what I have for you, Capricorn, for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Capricorn, have an amazing week.